Cheer, China Plate. Time is money, so let's get right to the Cockney rhyming scheme. Don't worry, you'll bubble plenty along the way. Since the 17th century, Cockney has referred to those born within earshot of the Bow Bells, coming from the St. Mary Le Bow Church, one of the oldest churches from Cheapside on the east end of London. People who speak with a Cockney accent are often working class. That's right. We're about to bring you up to speed on how you can start talking with Cockney slang. Let's start by taking the word car. You're gonna take two words unrelated to the word car, but the second word in this pair is gonna rhyme with car. For instance, I say car and I say jam jaw. Next, from the pair of words, subtract the one that rhymes with car, which is the second word, jar. You're left with jam. So you're gonna replace car with jam. Let's try replacing car with jam in a sentence. Take me for a drive in your new jam. You got it. Here are some more examples. I say wig, you say Irish pig. You look silly. Lose the wig. You look silly. Lose the Irish. Great. Now we'll give you some words with the replacement pairs. And you come up with your own sentences. Kid. Dustbin lid. Feet. Dogs mate. Shoes. Dinky doos. I'll tell you what. I'll put a list down below for a site with a list of commonly used Cockney slang terms. That's a great idea. Thanks. Next, a very slight variation on what we just did. Take an initial word like suit, and instead of replacing it with a pair of words, we're gonna replace it with three words. And the third word is gonna rhyme with suit. For instance, I say suit, you say whistle and flute. From the three words, take away the last two, which would be and flute you're left with whistle replacing the word suit. Let's try it in a sentence. You're looking nice in that whistle, ye is. Here's some more examples. You make up your own sentences using the replacement words. First, mouth, north and south. Pause and think of a sentence. Next, soup, loop the loop. Head, loaf of bread, road. Frog and toad. Let's play around a bit. When using three words, you don't have to eliminate the last two. Heck, you don't have to eliminate any of them. You determine which one rolls off the tongue more. For instance, instead of suit, I can go with whistle and or whistle and flute. You determine which one sounds better in a sentence. You're looking sharp on that whistle and or you're looking sharp on that whistle and flute. Instead of windy, I can use Mork and Mindy, or Mork and, or just Mork. Which one do you prefer? It's too bloody Mork and Mindy in Chicago. Or, it's too bloody Mork and in Chicago. Or, it's too bloody Mork in Chicago. Now let's make it even easier for you. Sometimes, you may just take one Cockney slang word and replace it with the original. For instance, boozer can become battle cruiser. And here's a sentence. My old man's always been a battle cruiser. Money can be replaced by Wonga. I love it. Now, give him a sentence, Bertie. How much Wonga you got, Jeff? So much. Lastly, it's fun to use celebrity names for Cockney slang. For the following sentences, see if you can identify the full celebrity name with the word it's replacing. You ready? Where's the Lou? Gotta take a Bruce. Did you get it? Bruce Lee is the celebrity, and the word his name is replacing is, well, you can guess the word. Try this one. I got a bloody Gregory from looking down on my phone all day. If you're a film buff and have seen movies like To Kill a Mockingbird or Roman Holiday, you may have guessed 
that it's Gregory Peck replacing the word neck. <laughs> Take a shower. Get rid of that foul Judy. Judy is for the Dame Judy Dench, and that is replacing the word stench. I sneak out at night to meet my secret Danny. My secret lover, Danny Glover. If you've never seen Lethal Weapon, shame on you. One of the best buddy action films ever. She's wearing too much makeup on her chevy. Too much makeup on her face. And face rhymes with Chevy Chase. Well, I ain't going in that haunted house alone, I ain't. It's to Mariah. To Mariah Carey it is, or scary. Hey, what kind of dark Britney you got on tap? Britney Spears. What kind of dark beers you got on tap? Nice. Oh yeah, some great films to watch that put the Cockney accent in the spotlight. Snatch with Jason Statham. Last Orders with Sir Michael Caine. The Long Good Friday with Bob Hoskins. Leia Cake, there's a good one. Daniel Craig. Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Another one with Jason Statham. Told you you'd get a nice bubble bath out of this. Bubble bath in Cockney is bubble bath, which rhymes, of course, with laugh. There it is. The Cockney slang. It's your turn. Take it to the stage. Bring it in front of the camera. Or just have fun with your friends devising your own secret language. Go ahead. Smash that like button. Give us your feedback in the comments. If you plan on coming back to visit us for value and extra creative content, subscribe. I love you. Push and shove ya.